In this lesson, we will be reviewing reporting and notifications. We will discuss a few of the provider reports, such as application report, the registry results report, the roster report, and user account list report. We will also discuss my notifications. The background check system allows you to produce six different reports. You can access these reports on reports in the navigation and selecting provider reports. To access all reporting functionality, Internet Explorer 8 or higher is recommended. To preview a report, click the name of the report that you wish to view. We're going to first take a look at the application report. Each report has filtering options for data. Some filtering options must be entered for the report to generate. You can then select your date from the date picker. After you have selected your filters, you may preview the report before printing or exporting to a file. To preview the report, click View Report and the first page of the report will appear. If a required filtering option is not entered, a message will be displayed stating that the required parameter cannot be blank. Now we'll review the preview buttons. This button allows you to go to the first page of the report. This button allows you to go to the previous page. This button allows you to go to the next page of the report. And this button allows you to go to the last page. In this text field, you can search for an item in the body of the report. Simply type the text and you'll be able to find what you're looking for. You can also export the report. Click here, you'll see the file format options. Then you also have the option to refresh the data. The application report produces a list of application activity, including status per provider. Select the date from the date picker, and also select the provider that you are running the report for. Please remember you can select a provider if you have access to more than one facility. For each application, the following details are displayed. The application ID, the provider name, the applicant name, the last four digits of the social security number, the application date, the application status, the application status reason, the reason for withdrawal, if they've been withdrawn, and the dates that the fingerprints have been taken. The next report that we will review is the registry results report. This report displays the registry research results for each applicant. Please remember you will only view users associated with your providers. Select the date from the date picker and the date too. This gives you your range. Select your provider from the drop down and then select checked by user ID. Then click view report. For each applicant and registry check, the following information will display. The provider name, the applicant, the application ID, the registry name, who checked the registry, the date the registry was checked, the registry result, and whether there was an auto match. The next report we're going to look at is the roster report. This report is a complete list of your current employees, including both those entered as applicants and those uploaded to the system as part of the roster. Select the employment status and the provider. Click view report. 
and the report will be displayed. For each employee, the following information is displayed. Provider name, last name, first name, position, their employment status, their provisional hire date, and their permanent hire date, as well as their determination. The last report we're going to look at is the user account list report. The user account list report provides a list of your user accounts. Select the user status from the drop down, the user type, select the user role you're searching for, and the provider. You can also select the date if you wish, but you do not have to. Just make sure that you leave the default to null checkbox set to null. Then click View Report. For each user, the following information will be displayed. The date that the account was created, the date that the password changed, the date that the end user license agreement was accepted, the user role, all associated providers, the last login date, if the user is active, the user type, how many days since the last login, the account status, and who created the account. We will now review My Notifications. To manage your notifications, go to My Account and select Notifications. There are 26 possible notifications that can be received. Select the Do Not Receive option under Subscription Requests if you do not wish to receive the email notification. Select the receive option under subscription request if you would like to receive the email notification. Once the selections have been made for each notification, select save. You will then begin to receive an email for each notification that you selected to receive. This concludes reporting and notifications. As a reminder, additional information can be found in the Provider How-To Users Guide. You can access the guide from any system screen by clicking on the Help link in the upper right-hand corner. For assistance, please contact Denise Matthews at 404-463-0111. Or email dmatthews at dch.ga.gov.